Hello and welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic and this is another special one where I'm about to tackle the listener crossword for today the 10th of November although that means it'll be appearing in the paper on the 11th of November and that's worth remembering because it might be themed about remembrance so we'll bear that in mind you just never know um, and the title is His by Nebuchadnezzar could even be high, is plural of a greeting by Nebuchadnezzar. And as usual, I've uh, prepared a copy of the grid and a list of the clue numbers to start with, but I haven't looked at the preamble or the clues, and I'm going to do that now. So we'll start in with a look at those. The preamble says, 30 clues contain an extra word that must be removed before solving. Okay. In clue order, the letters immediately before and after the extra words, in either order, spell out two instructions. That's unusual. The first relates to the treatment of clashes. Okay, so there's going to be clashes in the grid and any occurrence of the letter K in the completed grid. The second is how to complete the puzzle with a unique solution guided by the original contents of the affected cells, among others. Okay. In 16 other clues, the wordplay omits one or two of the letter's answers, of the answer's letters, a closed outline must be drawn through the omitted letters, spelling a related phrase. The remaining two clues consist of wordplay only. And Chambers is the primary reference. Okay. Well, as usual, there's a lot of instruction there. There's clearly a lot of extra words in the clues, although in some there's some missing letters. And we'll just start in and try and solve some clues and see how we do. So, one across, rope merchant returned within Damascus's borders for religious cloths. So, Damascus's borders are the letters D and S. Rope merchant. So, one of those will be the extra word. Uh, religious cloths, dos, dossels, or dorsals, or something like that. Rope. A lasso. Dossals, that'll do. That's a lasso backwards in uh, DS. And the extra letters were um, from the letters before and after merchant, so they're E and R. It's a very strange way of cluing the letters. One down. Let's just drop the thing down to pick that up. Admirable fellow, the old mathematician at last getting brought up. So I think we're looking at a fellow could be Don, the old could be Yi, mathematician at last could be N. Mm, I think it might be missing a letter. So, yeah, it looks like D-O-N-N-E something Y, meaning admirable. It's not, it might be an obscure word, I don't know, or I might have slightly misinterpreted something. Let's try two down. Past master wears club tie supporting United. Uh, past master. Master can, can be M or even M-A. Club tie. No, can't see that. Three down. Old place buried by finest dust. Stead is an old word, an old spelling of S T E A D meaning place. So that's hidden in finest dust apart from the letter E. Okay, so that is a letter that we might have to draw something through, so I'm going to make it a yellow cell. Okay, four down. Annoying A and E doctor inhaling nitrogen on two occasions. A and E. Doctor. And uh, that looks again like they might be missing letters. I'm looking at the letters A, E, and maybe two letters for a doctor, and then two lots of nitrogen, N, going in it. And it all means annoying. Can't think of the answer. Five down. Kemp, 
bed of beer or blonde afterwards, displayed heartlessly. <coughs> Camp can be a lager, and there's a shorter version of that, L-A-E-R. Um, bed, beer, or blonde. Now, okay, bed could be a layer, beer could be a lager, afterwards could be later, and all of those displayed heartlessly gives you L-A-E-R, and that makes blonde the extra word with a D-E. Okay, so we've got started. Now, there's a really long one across. 13 letters. Indefensibility of exotic dancer Anne's new blue set. Indefensibility looks like the definition and untenability, untenableness would fit. Is that going to work? Yeah, it looks like the right letters. And blue set look like the right. No, there's not quite enough there. And N blue set. So dancer is the extra letter. Extra word. Untenableness goes in. Oh, I got it wrong for blonde. It wasn't the beginning and end letters. It was the letters before and afterwards, which are R and A. Okay, so for 10 across, before and after, dancer, a C and A. Um, let's try 6 across. It could be quite interesting if we could start the message. Sailor, possibly. Third ship astern, lower the person on ropes. It looks like abseil. That's not quite to lower someone on ropes, though. Sailor could be A, B. And a ship could be a, s a sail. So, astern looks like the extra word. And that's going to give us P and L. Yeah, okay, that works, because now we can turn the letters of the first two we sold round, and it looks like the message begins with place. So, 11 across, if that's another one. Ooh, seem to have made a mistake. There's no 11 across. I got the grid wrong. I have got the grid wrong. What have I done wrong? Ah, there we go. Now there's 12 across. That's better. Okay, 12 across. Ian's to die for God ending prematurely. Now I think in Scot or the Scottish dialect word for die is D, D E E. Or well, it could be D A E. Deo. So I think, yeah, the, again, the E here is as it was for stead, an extra letter. Okay, one down again then. Now that we know that it apparently begins dud. Admirable fellow. Oh, Dudney was an old mathematician. So, ah, so the whole clue, it's an and lit, I think, and it might even be thematic, because Mr. Dudney, whose first names I could remember if I thought about it, I think the first one begins with an A, um, or an H, actually. But he, dude is the admiral fellow, ye n is brought up. That's interesting. I think he might well be relevant. We shall see. Two down. Past master, ma past could be one time. So that's master wearing tie, supporting united. Club is the extra word. And then Letters before and after club are S and T in two down. I'm quite pleased the message does seem to begin replace because it proves <laughs> I'd understood the instructions correctly about it, which uh, was a worry. 17 across. Effective failing condition two after shift. Back by six. I don't know what that's going to mean. Now let's try all the look. We've got lots of downs with the first two letters. Six down. Turned away. Ilan is hiding from Israeli immigration. None of those really look like... Um, I suppose Israeli immigration is the definition. And there must be some Semitic word that means moving into a country 
for old Hebrew texts or something. So Aliyah, that is hidden in away Elan, and it does mean something like that. Is hiding. So I think from is the extra word, weirdly, giving us a GI in the message there. Well, let's try IG, because that could be in the middle of the word straight, because the message could be about straight lines. Seven down, bread in the Bible belt. Well, begat, I suppose, or begot is bread in the Bible, and beat could be belt in the sense of hit somebody hard, so that makes the G an extra letter, possibly. Not 100% sure that that's the way that works, but it's a possibility and it gives us something to put in. Eight down. And we haven't met any clashes yet, which you two, they're probably all fairly central then. Eight down. Drag from grass rolled with deconstructed tailor maids butt. I don't understand what that's meant to me or what it's meant to mean to me. No idea. Let's try nine down. Retiring royal attends institution, keeping very good graduate in line. Okay, well, an isobar is a line on a map, and I can see very good being so, and graduate being BA. We've got a royal and an institution. Retiring royal, so attends. Royal institution is RI, okay. So attends is the extra word, and nine down has an L and an I. Attends is a very, doesn't seem a randomly chosen word, so I think these extra words might come back to matter at some point. Maybe I should be noting them down as well, but I'm not. Eleven down. Trim spruce amidst northern mist. Spry would fit, and that looks quite good. Amidst trim spruce. Trim could be spry, and similarly spruce could be spry. But I'm not quite sure what the northern mitts and trim... Ooh, I bet that is spry. I'm not going to put it in because I can't see any wordplay. Elderly South African intoned holy sound. So om is an intoned holy sound. Or at least it's an intoned sound. What's an elderly South African? Must be a word. I don't know. Oh, oom. That's an old man in South African. So let's assume that O is also an extra letter. Not 100% sure about that. And holy also seems like it could be an extra word there. 16 across. Marinade recipe. Cut waffle in two after bruise reduced by a third. Crikey, that's pretty precise, isn't it? Marinade recipe. Cut waffle in two. Teriyaki would fit, wouldn't it? And that's a marinade. So yak, yak, yak could be waffle. So yak would be half of it. Oh no, you put yak in ii, the, the, the Roman for two, after brew is reduced by a third. That's T. So recipe is the R. Um, ii is the two, yak is the waffle. It's hard to see if the cut might be an extra word there, in which case ew would be the extra letters. I don't know, not 100% sure about that. Now, this four down, I still think annoying, angering, angering, A and E, doctor, anger, oh, I like it being angering. Rig for doctor. Okay. So it's AE rig inhaling two N's for nitrogen and that G is the extra letter. And look at these extra letters. They're forming a very neat pattern here of yellows. 
So it's quite a good idea to put those in yellow in the grid to get myself an idea of what they're doing. Eight down. Drag from, it looks like snake, doesn't it? Drag from grass rolled with deconstructed tailor-made's butt. <sighs> Cans could be a grass with E could be tailor-made's butt. I don't know. It's a very convoluted clue for some reason. Let's try 18 across. Again, court orders to deport polemical individual for religious teachings. <sighs> so, re for again, writ, court order. What are the religious teachings? Probably some Judaistic word again. No, we didn't know what that was. Let's try 13 down. Girl finally, that's L surely, wears dress. Enticing well born youngster. S oh, I don't know. Let's try 14 down where, assuming these letters are regular, I assume the first letter is include. Once true life account filmed in River holds universal certificate. Well, that's surely you. Maybe even universal certificate is you. Once true life account filmed in River holds universal. Uh, not seeing that. Eleven down. Trim. Oh, it's not spry. Trim spruce amidst northern mist. Smir, S M I R, that's a Scottish mist, I think. Smart would be trimming spruce. Smar. Not sure that's a word. Let's try putting it in on the assumption it is. If that does turn out to be right, I'm gonna have to look it up and see if smur might be right. And amidst is probably the extra word, giving us an E and an N in 11 down, which I numbered wrongly because I used 12 before. Don't know, not certain about that. 19 across, Mary stripped off. <sighs> Mary stripped? It's just AR. Okay, and off is far. And the F there is another extra letter, again in a fairly neat pattern. Okay, so I'm liking these extra letters. Now 19 down's probably got two extra letters then. Out of date. Is that O D? Purse lips alternately. Oh, out of date purse lips alternately. So it's L P, so it's probably Flap. Again, I'd need to be checking this extra letter potentially. Um, but that could easily be an old word for a purse. Oh, fisk. Is that, that's an old purse, but that would have IC. Mm, yeah, no. Fix. Fi Okay, well, Fisk it is. So maybe it's not this cell that's the extra letter. Maybe there is a. Oh, did the wrong thing there. Maybe there is a jump in the. Uh, in the extra letters. Maybe it's that C. Because then the letters of I, lips, regularly or IS, that, that would work. Let's try 30 across. Dipso, drunken pest. Oh, an anagram of pest with a couple of extra letters in it, meaning a drug dip so. I don't know. 22 across, sending IR sending fleeces, mohairs, hot supermodel overcome by a French auteur. Hot supermodel. Supermodel's not a phrase one sees a lot. Overcome by a French. Looks like un or une. Yeah, I don't know. 20 across. Having spent penny earlier, climbed a high tree. Emblick. 
Yeah, Enblick is an old tree, and it's an anagram of climbed without a D that's been spent. So having spent penny earlier is D, climbed A is the extra word, and DH are the letters around it. That's quite weird. We did want an L in 13. Down girl finally wears dress enticing well-born youngster. I should know this word for a well-born youngster. But I don't try this 17 again. Effective. Nice. Failing condition 2 after shift. Back by 6. There's a 6 across and a 6 down. It's not very helpful. Oh, okay, vice. Now we could have one of our clashes here. So uh, it could be a failing. Condition two after shift. How could that be C E or E C? Back by six. I have a feeling that is vice. But I don't know why. And shouldn't the C be... Wow, okay. Mm, if condition could be effect, then two could be... I don't know, there could be so many possibilities. I have a feeling that could be vice. 21 down. Swell, Baron, Lambert. Well, Baron can be B, Lambert can be L. So... The whole thing means swell, blow, I don't know. League independent free movement, 31 across looks like L, I. Can't be a W, but it could be an E. Lie could be free movement, I'm not sure. 28 across, Italian scorer changing direction at once in illegal training. Allegri, I think. Isn't there a composer called Allegri? And how would that be? Changing direction once in illegal training. So at is the extra word. One of the L's in illegal becomes an R, left becoming right. And we get Mr. Allegri. 28 gives us an at was the extra word. We get an N-O out of 28 or an O-N. Who knows which way around it'll be. Now this well-born youngster, Stivey? That can't be a word. How would that work then? Girl wearing style. <sighs> Just don't know. 29 down. Mike's antecedent, well, that's Lima in the alpha, in the phonetic alphabet. Career fronting international cartel ultimately becomes dust. It looks like career is the extra word, and limail might be the answer, but I don't know what that means. 31 down. Dotty piece about a number taken from. Puzzling Encyclopedia. Line? But why? You can't just take the extra G from puzzling. No, don't know what's going on there. 25 across. Cockney Birds magazine ends, as in hens for a cockney, Containing nudes centrally, showing skin. So magazine looks like the extra word. Cockney birds ends containing nudes centrally. Just a D? So maybe not hens, but something slightly longer as birds. Showing skin. Endermis or something. Or maybe magazine. Ends ammo? 
No, I'm not seeing that. I'm going to have to start some words in the bottom that I've got no help for, which is annoying. Middle Eastern monies, silver and gold, with both coins emitting head and tail. Both coins. What coin? Oh, coins could be an extra word. And then silver and gold. With both emitting head and tail. Ilviol. Nah. 23 down. Pub stop. Queen entering place of debauchery. <sighs> no, no idea. Let's try these downs. 32 down. German pilot is war god flying up in this. Ares and Thor are the war gods I know. Um, I know Mars as well. German pilot or German is war god. No, I can't see it. 33 down, hooked and doing narcotic, primarily coke. On E, doing narcotic? I don't know. Oh, yeah, on the missing C. On. Uh, there's some word for hooked that I should be able to think of there. 34 down. Scottish districts yielding mayors putting concluding point forward. Oof. It's just a lot of words. Don't know what that means. 39 across. Alas. Flipping old Gaelic potato. I think the potato is alu, A-L-U, and the U is probably an extra letter. But I'm not quite sure why, alas, flipping old Gaelic gives us A-L. But I'm prepared to bet it does, because that U is in such a good place to be part of these extra letters. Although that does rather mess my plan up for 29 down. Mike's antecedent, Lima. Fronting international cartel ultimately becomes dust. Doesn't look good now. 42 now. I'm struggling a bit here. Feminine lewd desire to wear feather. <sighs> the long one. Let's try and get. Oh, how about the yeah. earth? We've looked at this one. Dotty piece about a number taken from puzzling encyclopedia. That feels very thematic as well. 41 across. Breaking up dingiest, most half-hearted gang that can be broken up. So, an anagram of dingiest, most... Mm, I don't quite know what else to put in it. But digestible that can be broken up. Indigestible, maybe. Indigest. Most half hearted game. Hmm. Something to do with digesting. I feel. 37 down. Removing nuclear core from. Island nation foils emperor's habit. And 38 now. Lecture book boring disheartened Jane. So that looks like book going into J E. So maybe jibe can be a lecture. Maybe Job can be a lecture, something to do with the prophet Job. I'm going to try that. And then 40 across, I noticed, is our urban dropping a ban. Oh, let's try 35 down. Split ends, cut 
Brenda's Fringe. Oof, I shouldn't do what that was about. 26 down. Section of Leaflet claims that university replaces academy college in peak position. So, section of leaflet looks like it's a plant term. U instead of AC at the beginning of accuses claims. I don't know. 27 down. Having a bit of a mere exploding dud historical weapons in jerk back. Okay, so that looks like uddered for this reason. That deer, D E R E, is a historical word for injure. Weapons is an extra word. Dud is exploded at the beginning. And a, an, a mare might have an udder. It feels more like that's mixing up cows and horses, but I think probably one of them defines the other in some way. Um, and it was historical and injury giving us an ally there. It looks right, uttered. 30 across, dipso, drunken. Ah, oh, that's an anagram of dipso, and socket is a pest. That gives us the extra C. That makes sense. That indigestible. It's not quite the right length to fit there. That can be broken up, so it's... A oh, rabble is a half-hearted gang. R A B L. Okay, so ends in R A B L E. Disintegrable or well, disintegrable can be disintegrated. Okay, that's a nice bit of solving. Breaking up dingiest disinteg. Now most is the extra word and T H are the extra letter other letters we use for the message. Okay, at least we've got a few more. 26, oh, let's try 43 across. Oh, I haven't looked at this. Clodhopper eventually are probably understood in parts, having followed country dance. Right, a country dance can be a hay, so the clodhopper is probably a hay seed. Understood seed is a dialect word for saw. Therefore, eventually is the extra word, and are you at 43? And the letters. That's nice. 37 down, probably not got an extra letter. Removing nuclear core from island nation. So Tonga without N at its core. Foils is the extra word, and we get NE out of 37 down. So we're making some progress there. 26 ends in Yule. Section of leaflet. Oh, I should know a lot more plant words than I do. Claims university. Okay, pinnacle is peak position. U replaces a C. University replaces academy college. And we get pinnule, which must be a section of a leaflet. Claims is the extra word. And we get T U from. 26 down on. Let's put UT because it looks a bit like outline there. Okay, 35 cross ending in ND. Split ends cut Brenda's fringe. Could that be 10 from the middle of split ends? Is that like cut? Or rend, which can mean split. And if you cut Brenda's fringe off, so ends is the extra word. Get TC at 35 across. I think that's right. Let's put it in a CT. 24 down. Middle Eastern money. Oh, yeah. Silver and gold. Okay, ag and ore. With both omitting head and tail. So coins is the extra word. Agarot is the money. I think I've heard of that. Coins was the extra, and we get HO at 24 down. So it does look like some sort of outline. In fact, I've got the NE at the end of that. That's interesting. Right, 36 across, ending T something O. Rigged vote die saw without info display. Looks like an anagram of vote die saw, but that's a bit too long. 
So, an anagram, a vid, out display. So, rigged vote without info. Well, should know that straight away. It's still looking like no hairs at 22 across. Let's try 23 down. Might begin with an H. Pub, hostelry, stop, ho, queen, er, and in place of debauchery, sty. So the L is the extra letter, pretty much as we would expect from the pattern. Um, it's a bit odd that that C in socket and Fisk was the extra letter because it spoiled the pattern a bit, but that seems to be the way of it. Now 36 ends in T E O. Sabutio, that would fit. Rig vote dinosaur. It's very strange to have a word ending in that. Maybe this is where we have the clash. Mm. Interesting, don't know what's going on. Let's try 32 across. Rookie hits nitwit, Ad adjutant general, must be AG, rejected. So, rookie could hits, taps, gas pat, twit. No, oh, just can't see it. 31 down, dotty piece about a number. Oh, LED? What's that? A dotty piece? It's a kind of light emitting diode display. Dotty piece about a number taken from puzzling encyclopedia techniques. 29. Mike's antecedent, Lima. Career fronting. I think Alu might well be wrong. That. So, alas. I don't know, though. what's a potato? Flipping old Gaelic potato. Hmm, ooh, 25 across ends in OG. No, 22 was mohairs now. Hot supermodel overcome by a French auteur. Supermodel. Supermodel be the extra word. So it's hot overcome by moairs. Oh, airs are auteur. Unhairs fleeces. Oh, okay, mistyped that, but not to worry. Right. So the supermodel was the extra word. 22 across gives us T and O. Let's put it in as O, T. Replace, okay, so it's gonna start. Replace with dots. So 25 has an extra one. We think it's magazine, so that's gonna give us SC. Surely there's a clash here. Cockney Birds magazine containing nudes essentially. Ends. I don't know. Fourteen down. Once true life account filmed in river holds universal certificate. So bio, be, true life account. Once true life account bio. Filmed in the river. Oh, so the river could be Indus or something. You put bio in Indus, you get indubious, which is not, which is true. Whew, what the heck? Indubious. It does feel like that could be right. Let's put in indubious. We've got a clash there for Terry and Yaki. Terry Yaki and Injubius. 
Let's put that in a different color. Let's go green this time. Wow. That would be a good bit of solving if that's right. 24. Hens. Magazine. Uh, magazine's extra. Needs essentially. Just don't know. 18. Again, court order. Orders to deport polemical individual for religious teachings. Ingevious is a very brave answer. I don't think it's going to be right. 36 down. Rigged vote saw. Rigged vote die saw without. Oh, how could Sabutio works? That's so weird. How do you do across? Rookie hits nitwit adjutant general rejected. Galoot must be a rocky a rookie. A nitwit is a tool. So hits is the extra word. We get an E and an N. Look at that. What this is now saying is replace with dots, connect something straight line something outline. Excellent. It's all coming together there. 32 down. German pilot is war god flying up in this. It must all mean something that a German pilot could fly up in. German pilot. German is war god. I don't know. 33 down, hooked, oh yes, adunk, that's a word, and doing narcotic, primarily coke. So ADN from and doing narcotic, primarily. Coke is C, that's just an abbreviation, not its initial. C can mean cocaine, okay, so adunk means hooked. And it's not Sabutio anymore, because it couldn't be. So, 36, anagram, it's got to be a video. Video something. Video ton or video. It's got to be. I don't know, vidoutio. It doesn't make any sense. 34 down. Scottish district. Leith, perhaps? Yielding mayor's putting concluding point forward. Mayor's. Yeah, mayor's probably the extra word. Yielding. Scottish. You know, it could be a Scottish word for yielding, and districts could be the extra. Don't know. Don't know what's going on there. Let's try 42 across. Feminine, lewd desire to wear feather. So feminine could be F. Each can be desire. Is a flitch a feather? Probably is, isn't it? I know it can be a side of bacon or something, but why is lewd L or is L an extra letter suddenly out there? It doesn't look likely. Fritch. Oh, I want 29 down to be Limail again. Yeah, I'm confident that it is Limail. That just works. So Alu was wrong. Just going too much on the potato and not really paying attention to the rest of the clue. 42 could be flitch now, but I don't know why the L. Can L, L can't be for lewd. Oh, Letch. Fletch. And a Fletcher makes arrows with feathers, so a Fletch must be a feather. Right, so that's okay. 29 down. What was the extra word here? Mike's antecedent career. Career is the extra word. And we get TF from 29. There's that. Oh. 
uh, are more words. That's not that surprising in that stretch of clues. 32 down. German pilot is war god. Oh, Tier, T-I-R, is a war god. German pilot. G for German. Pilot's probably an extra word. Is war god. Gr Garrett? Gurit? Oh. Don't think I know what that is. 34 down. Lauf. Could be yielding in Scottish. Mayor's putting concluding point forward. Or yielding putting concluding point. I don't know. Uh, it's getting frustrating around there. 31 down. Dotty piece about a number. Or dotty piece about a number taken from puzzling encyclopedia. I haven't really come across. That's possibly a candidate for... One of the two things made of X, made of just wordplay. 21 down. Swell Baron Lambert. Oh, I don't know the word for swell. That's annoying. But these two letters are going to be the extra letters. Um, so let's put them in yellow. Okay, and that one. Okay, yellow. I think we've probably completed our completed our pattern of yellow letters there. Column or colours. So that could be an fog. Big of column. Egg of Interesting. They do seem to spell something out. Um, where's that girl wearing dress? Enticing, well-born youngster. Mm. League Independent Freedom Movement. Oh, lib. Could be the Freedom Movement. And swell could be bulb. Let's try that. And then... Then we're sort of getting Egg of Columbus. 39 across. Alas, yam is a sort of sweet potato, isn't it? I, flipping, and maybe yam is an old Gaelic word for a potato. And so Columbus is looking right. This is going to be an S in, oh, stop, in a... Yellow cell. Egg of Columbus. I'm probably meant to know what that means. 17 across. Effective failing condition after shift back by 6. Oh, the well-dressed youngster I had thought of. The well-born youngster is a Sloan. So that could be an L in... Hmm. Looking for too many clashes here. 25 across those cockney birds. I still think they're ends. Magazine containing news. Showing skin. Have I, I definitely haven't made this too long, have I? No, it's meant to be seven letters. Okay. Getting quite close here. 31 down. No, oh, we don't know what that is. Dotty piece. Lloyd. That's another mathematician, isn't it? Dotty piece about a number. I don't know. Hmm, so Egg of Columbus, I think I'm going to have to take a break and do some research in a moment. We've got Replace Wuh, 1718 on 19 gives us an IT, so that's going to be 18, where polemical will be the extra word. Again, court orders to deport individual for religious teachings. Don't know. 
I'm not convinced about in dubious either. It's quite a nice looking word. Anyway, replace with dots, connect thrust, no, connect through maybe. Connect through straight line, something outline of. Yeah, there are too many words that I haven't solved. Now, what was this going to mean? Let's revisit the preamble. In clear order, the letters immediately before spell out two instructions. The first relates to the treatment of clashes replaced with dots. And after the extra words, uh, sorry, and any occurrence of the letter K in the completed grid, I've forgotten about that. There's one there in teriyaki. And that's all I can see. So they get replaced with dots, clashes and Ks. Okay. The second is how to complete the puzzle, which is connect with connect what was it? Connect through straight line with outline or something. Don't know. With the unique solution guided by the original contents of the affected cells among others. In 16 other clues, the wordplay omits one or two of the letters' answers. A closed outline must be drawn through the omitted letters. So the egg of Columbus looks like it is quite square, which is very weird. Spelling a related phrase. So I'm going to have to look up egg of Columbus. I'm still very suspicious that Mr. Dudney is involved in this. Two clues consist of wordplay only. I haven't figured out what they are at all. Oh, maybe. No, that would have the extra word in it. <sighs> Don't know. I will take a break and um, come back when I've looked up Egg of Columbus. See you shortly. Hi. Well, as happens a bit, um, the research took a little longer than I was necessarily expecting. Um, I did look up Egg of Columbus, which was indeed a very helpful phrase. However, that then took me on a bit of a sidetrack because um, Egg of Columbus, as well as referring to an apocryphal story about Christopher Columbus, who apparently responded to questions suggesting that his planned discovery of the Americas or whatever he was planning to do um, was unnecessary at this time because it would be done in the future. He, um, he tried to explain to the various nobles who were questioning him that there were different ways of thinking about things and suggested that they try and balance an egg on its end. And when they'd all failed to do that, he did it by just cracking the end of the egg a little and balancing it on the cracked end, um, which is a famous example of lateral thinking. Now, unfortunately, the phrase has then been used, Egg of Columbus, to describe a Tangram-like puzzle, and that took me on a bit of a red herring because people like Henry Judney, Henry, I know that now, and Sam Lloyd, whose name fits in at 31 down, had introduced Tangram puzzles to the world, and I had assumed that we were therefore looking at a puzzle that would divide up into Tangram shapes and some sort of Tangram reorganization would be necessary. Now, it turns out that wasn't what was going on here. Um, I also used Chambers to um, help me get a few of the last solutions that I hadn't been able to get. There weren't actually all that many left, rather to my surprise. And once I'd solved Videotex at 36 across and Child with an E on the end at thir 13 down, Nice I at 17 across, G suit at 32 across. I didn't see that happening. The war god was T U T I U. Um, and then 
I worked on the letters from the message, which if we can see down here, and I hope I've got my head out of the way of the message this time, um, having corrected everything in that and put everything in, I'd, I'd missed a few. The message now reads, replace with dots. And that's the first bit of the message. We have to replace all the squares with clashes in or with a K in with dots. And then it says connect with four straight lines without lifting pen. Now, if like me, you've come across various um, puzzle, trick puzzles before, you might well have often seen the puzzle of connecting nine dots in a square shape um, with four straight lines without lifting your pen off the paper, which is extremely difficult if you stay within those nine dots. Now here, those, as I say, the, the um, as we can see, and I've put them in green in the grid, the um, puzzle, the, the squares that end up having dots in are in a very neat square shape. But also, their clash letters lead you to the fray. You can see the, the top row says T-H-I-N-K, and that's think. And then you can probably see from some of the other letters that the phrase we're heading to is thinking outside the box, which I now realize very neatly describes the original Egg of Columbus problem, not so much the Tangram one. And if we trace thinking outside the box where my cursor is, we go T-H-I-N-K, and of course we go outside the box to this I, I've had to correct that as well, um, and then thinking out side the box and as anybody who's done that puzzle without lifting the pen off the paper knows that's how you solve it you have to go outside the box it's a very literal interpretation of thinking outside the box um, and the egg of columbus is a classic old story of thinking outside the box as well so the grid the the whole theme ties in very neatly it's a nice finish um, I was glad, obviously, I was able to uh, solve the final clues. Not shocking to have to go to Chambers. Um, in Dubious was quite a good solve without it. And the last one across the middle was Enderon, in which, interestingly, in a seven-letter word, only the N there and the O there were actually usefully checked. So I personally needed the help of knowing eventually that there needed to be an E at the beginning and an N at the end to solve that puzzle, to solve that clue. And the Cockney birds turned out not to be Ns, but an N and an Erin surrounding the letter D. So it was a pretty tough clue to uh, give for a word that only had two check letters out of seven in it. Um, so that might have held some people up as well as myself. Very neat puzzle in the end, very neat realization of it. The, the two were the two entries that were clued by wordplay only turned out to be one down Dudney, which I think you could strongly argue that it was an and lit as well, because the whole clue referred to the mathematician or possibly the theme. And 31 Down Lloyd, again referring to Sam Lloyd, who also brought this sort of puzzle to the public as well. And um, his clue as well, dotty piece about a number taken from Puzzling Encyclopedia. It's a long composite anagram. But also the surface of that seems to refer to the theme. So a very clever puzzle. One thing I'm left not understanding is why the title is his, but I may figure that out at some point. Maybe it's eyes, I'm not sure. Um, but a very good puzzle and most enjoyable and I've greatly enjoyed taking you through my solve of it. Your solve might well have been better. So um, thank you for joining us and uh, see you again.